Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to do some container gardening. Um, full disclaimer, I've never done container gardening before. Um, I did do a video earlier. <laughs> oh man, that's my that's my little crowd out there. They 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 cheer me on. So um, I did do a video earlier on what you call it uh, when I planted my garlic, and I did use grow bags. So that was the first time I've ever used grow bags. And this year, since I'm the only plant in my backyard garden, I planted less than what I normally would. And obviously I started way more than what I needed. So normally I just throw those away. But this year I decided, hey, why not use them and try something different? So I'm gonna do some container gardening today. Uh, first things first, when I was deciding on what I wanted to uh, grow in a container, I took a look outside and I said, well, I got Brussels sprouts. I'm not too keen on Brussels sprouts, but I, I grew them anyway here in the backyard garden. I want to try some different uh, cooking methods with them. If you got any recipes for Brussels sprouts, please link that below. But I figured I got enough Brussels sprouts. Um, I looked at the, uh, the kale, anything that's cut and come back. I'm not going to grow in containers because I've got plenty of it out in the garden. Kale, collards, um, lettuce, those are all cut and come back. So I thought about it and I said, well, the broccoli. I don't, I mean, I have maybe, I don't know, 18 plants out there, but I love broccoli. So um, I'm going to try to grow some broccoli in containers. Um, another thing that's great for container gardening is flowers. I didn't start a lot of flowers this fall, but I did start calendula. And so I have five calendula transplants left. So I'm going to put all five of those in containers, uh, which will be cool because then I can move them around and I can, I can put them where I, where I think they need to, excuse me, where I think they need to go. And um, I don't know. I mean, I'm new to calendula growing, but if it gets too cold, I can bring them inside. So, um, same with the broccoli, you know, broccoli can't stand that, that frost on it, you know, and I'm going to cover the, the ones that are out here in the garden to keep the frost off of those. But I think it'd be really cool to just grab the bucket or the container and take it in the house and not have to worry about the frost. So, um, anyway, I'm going to take you over here to the table and then we're going to get started. I'll show you how I'm filling the, the uh, containers and how I'm transplanting the starts into the containers. All right, well, this is where the magic is gonna happen. Um, I got five pots here and I don't buy these. I just uh, save them from when I buy, but I think there was roses in these and then, oh, <laughs> there was roses in these. And then I have some bigger ones that I'm gonna plant the broccoli in that I think I had trees in those. And so I just saved the, the little containers and they come in handy when I need to use them down the road. So. What I did here, look in there, I got Pro Mix down in there, and then, and then uh, I use this topsoil mix right here to add into it. Then what I do is I mix that topsoil down in there. I give it a good little mix doesn't have to be you know perfect or anything so i get that in there and i want to fill this up to about maybe an inch to an inch and a half from the from the top there <clears throat> perfect the reason why i like to do that is because when i plant in here i want there to be a lip so that when i water the water can get, you know, can rise up a little bit and then just seep down into the bottom. So the first one, calendula. And I plant it to the depth of where it was already planted in there. And then I just backfill and cover that up, press it in pretty good to get that seed to soil contact. And the only thing left to do with that is to water, um, water that in. Oh, I, I missed a step. 
I missed a step. I got to take that back up out of there. So you see, I mean, you know, this whole process, um, you can make a mistake here and there, but you can always fix it. So what I'd like to do on this is I'm going to put some 50-50 bone meal and blood meal down in there. I'm going to put a little bit of fertilizer down in there and then get that all mixed up. And then I can put that one back in there. There we go. Now we're cooking with Crisco. Okay, so that one's ready to go. So I'll do the rest of these real quick and then um, do the same process. Mix. I got I got pot and mix already in them. And then I'm gonna mix that that topsoil in there. All right, I got everything all filled up. Got the fertilizer mixed in them. So now I can start popping these in here. <clears throat> Just down to the, to the level it was already buried. Um, and if you've never tried these uh, six cell bootstrap trays, they are pretty awesome. Um, I mean, look, look, at, look at that root system right there it's not root bound and i've had these in here for probably going on a month and a half maybe almost two months so um as you know i always uh link bootstrap down below i am uh affiliated with them so i do get a, a small commission when someone purchases from bootstrap um using my link so <clears throat> but easy peasy all the calendula are planted into containers and now I can make room here so that I can get the broccoli in. All right, we're back. Um, I got all of the fertilizer put down in here. I'm gonna mix that in real good. Mix up those couple of layers of uh, starting mix. And you don't have to use starting mix, I just, that's just what I had here. So um, if you had garden soil or raised, raised bed uh, potting mix or something like that, um, I'm sorry, I'm using seed starting mix, not potting mix, but you, you don't have to use seed starting mix. <clears throat> I would say a good potting mix would, would work well. I will link, or I will put up in, on the screen the one that I like to use. I get it from, from Home Depot. It works really, really good. I just don't have any on hand <clears throat> yeah get that mixed up good in there all right i'm gonna top this one off a little bit more there we go we get a little bit more in there so i want to talk about why i'm using this particular pot for broccoli and I use those other ones for the calendula, the little smaller ones. Well, I, be, I believe that the root system on the broccoli is going to be pretty extensive. I think they're going to get root down in these containers. But I still want to try it and see how they do. And so these are the biggest containers that I had. So that's why I'm using these. For the calendula, I don't think that the root system gets as vast. I don't know, but I don't think it does. And so that's why I use the smaller pots, the next step down from this that I had for them. 
Well, now we're ready. Uh, so I got three here, so I can only do three. I don't want to plant any of these in smaller pots. Cause I just, I really don't feel like they would do well in smaller pots. <clears throat> Same thing here. I just go down to the level that they were planted at. Press them in real good. And I believe that I'm going to leave these outside. I'm not going to keep them here in the greenhouse. I don't really use my greenhouse for growing very much. I use it mostly just for um, seed starting and some storage as well. But um, I don't really like to keep full grown plants in here, except for like, so I, I cut these strawberries off of my parent strawberry plants out there. And so all of those I'm kind of keeping in here just to see how well they do and, and, and they're doing pretty good so far. I'll go over my strawberries. Uh, I gotta clean that bed out and whatnot. So I gotta show y'all that as well. So that's that. They're all transplanted into containers and now we're gonna get some water on them. So we'll go outside and take care of that. All right, so I got them out here out here where I had my, um, what you call it, the garlic at. I also have these pecan, pecan trees. I don't know how y'all say it, but I say pecan. Um, don't beat me up in the comments about that. But <laughs> I got some out here that I'm trying to grow. Um, it's gonna take a little while, but we'll see how they do. But anyway, I got my garlic out here, so I figured I'd just leave these set up out here because I gotta water all this stuff every day anyway so what i do is i use my my dram uh nozzle and it puts out a a, a big stream of water um i got this one from Hoss. you know i'm affiliate with Hoss, so if you're interested in it just go to the comment section click on the Hoss link and search for dram or um, anything like nozzle or something like that and it should pop right on up so the reason why I like the dram is you see how much water comes out of that. I mean, it's, and I, I wanted to do that. I wanted to pull up like that and then seep on down through there. And then I do it again. I want all the air to get out of there. <clears throat> Beautiful. And then I just, Keep doing that. Just like that. I just love this nozzle when I'm doing stuff like this. There you go. We got we got water running out of the bottom. That lets you know that the water made it all the way down through there. All right. Well, there you have it. Um, I do want to touch on a few things before I let you go. So water, I mean, um, growing in containers, you really have to keep an eye on watering. The containers are going to dry out much faster than in ground. So... In the winter, fall, you know, it's not so bad, but definitely late spring, summer, I mean, you gotta be on it, watering it once, if not twice a day um, to keep uh, your pots from, from drying out. Um, but I think another, like a great benefit is it's modular. I can move them inside in the winter if I need to, or if they're getting too much sun, I can move them to the shade, you know, so they're very versatile. So I don't know why I've never done it before, but, um, I'm messing with it a little bit now and maybe in the future that may be something that i do on a regular basis so if you would um let me know in the comments below what you like to grow in containers so that way it kind of gives me an idea and what size containers you use today i use they're getting crazy over there today i used um eight inch pots and six inch pots so um in the big scheme of things those are pretty small so let me know what you're using and and you know what you're growing in your container gardens 
Well, I hope you got something out of this video. Um, it's kind of fun to, you know, mess around with new stuff and, and do new things when you've been gardening for a, a very long time. So I've been gardening for a long time, but I've not been homesteading for a long time. I've been homesteading on my own homestead for three years. But gardening, I mean, that goes that goes way back, you know. So, um, but since I've never gardened in containers before, it was really cool, really fun to to mess around with it. And I'm I'm looking forward to it. I want to see how they do in those pots versus being in the ground where their roots can just spread and go where they want to. So, um, anyway, thank y'all for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out the affiliates below. Like, subscribe to my channel, and I'm out of here. See y'all in the next video.